Let's look at the topic two that is performance appraisal procedure. So the previous topic actually now previous topic we discussed about what is performance appraisal system is all about but here we are going to look at about performance appraisal procedure then we talk about performance appraisal procedure what kind of a procedure we are going to adopt there it is a very very actually you know subjective kind of a thing and uh, every people will have, have their own kind of a mechanisms to you know probably come out of the performance appraisal system but uh, in general in an the organization they need to devise a kind of a procedure and uh, methodologies and what are the parameters we are going to consider and what parameter carries what kind of a weightage and ultimately you know what is expected out of an employee so that has to be communicated very clearly in the beginning of the system itself so that you know performance appraisal procedure will become more and more transparent now let's try to look at it how the performance appraisal will be done um, you know elements of performance appraisal if you look into it it all starts from selecting the performance goals and objectives ultimately once an employee has been you know uh, probably placed in the job we need to communicate to them the you know the kras key result areas our key performance indicators and uh, normally you know the kris will be taken into consideration the key result areas will be identified and that will be communicated to the employees straight forward and uh, we need to document that particular key kind of you know competencies determine what is the kind of a key competencies are required and what are the kras and the kras you know has to be you know time to time we need to make it clarify and make sure that employee also understand that particular kra very well and we need to get at the signed copy and make sure that you know we need to ensure that employee also understand that we need to give them an induction and then training and that's a way actually you know the performance uh, has to be you know reviewed and once that you know all this induction has been done uh, next step you know the employee will start performing in the job so that time we try to you know uh, find out the performance against the goals and objectives and uh, we prepare you know performance against uh, key and that based on the kra we prepare a kind of you know performance available you know evaluation sheet the performance evaluation sheet will be you know will consist of various kind of a parameter and each parameter has to be given certain kind of weightage and based on that you know the feedback of results has to be you know compiled and uh, you know that's a way actually we need to do that uh, entire thing in case if the you know actual performance is completely deviating from the goal we may have to do the amendment in the goals and objectives because sometimes the goal and objective may not be very very practical so that's a way actually elements of a performance appraisal has to be looked into it now let's try to look at uh, the performance appraisal procedure so the first step in performance appraisal procedure is developing a performance standards what is expected out of it that is the first step second step we try to you know set the goals and objectives of you know ultimately by doing this performance appraisals and the result what is the objectives and uh, you know third step we try to collect the data uh, normally the line managers or the people who are in the particular department they will be involved in doing this particular performance appraisal but today actually you know there is a different kind of mechanisms that have been uh, you know evolved anyway we look at it uh, you know probably in the coming slides and that's why actually we need to collect the data about which employee does what kind of a job and what is the performance uh, you know reporting systems and all other things we need to collect it in the form of a data and uh, you know after we collect the data we need to call the employee and conduct an interview and during the interview phase we can ask them based on different parameter we can ask the employee themselves to you know come out of the self appraisal system and we also try to look at his superiors uh, you know appraisals and uh, we can compare that particular thing and then based on that you know we can come out with the kind of you know uh, our proper rating and the future goals and objectives has to be you know set for the employee and which are the areas the employee has done, done a good job that has to be acknowledged and which are the areas the employee has actually you know uh, uh, had an uh, shortfalls that has to be communicated and we need to you know see that in the future how that entire employee has to do that and we need to do a follow up and we need to reward that particular performance so these are the ways performance appraisal procedures has to be you know worked out and uh, we need to you know when we are working out that particular thing if you look at it each step we look at it in detail the first step developing a standard for an evaluation so performance standards are uh, it's purely based on the position not for the individual so when we planning the standards we need to you know look at it each position what is a kind of a standard and we need to look at it what is observable and specific indicators of success what is observable 
and what is specific kind of you know measures has to be looked into it and it has to be more meaningful reasonable and attainable and uh, uh, you know unrealistic kind of a performance standards and all may not be able to you know give the right kind of an you know what you call it as the uh, uh, go through and uh, that's the way actually if you look at it describe the fully satisfactory performance once trained and express in terms of quantity quality timeliness cost safety or outcomes all these ways actually you know the standards has to be looked into it so now let's try to look at uh, the second one setting an objective uh, yes uh, objective has to be more smart that is specific uh, you know realistic and then uh, what you call it as it has to have the kind of you know what you call it measurable terms and uh, that's the way if you look at it specific performance oriented realistic and observable uh, observable kind of you know parameters has to be taken into consideration and uh, third one is data collection the sources of performance information is uh, you know one is we can have the per personal observation by the you know peer groups and uh, the uh, superiors second one is we can collect a lot of reports from different different sources we need to document it and whatever correspondence actually you know time to time we need to you know uh, properly uh, document it and feedback internally as well as externally we need to you know look into it and periodic discussion with an employee about how is their performance that has to be you know maintained very well these are the ways data has to be collected and it has to be compiled all together at the end of that particular cycle for you know performance evaluations now let's try to look at it, the performance appraisal interview uh, once we collected all the data we review the standards and documentation and job descriptions as well as and appraising forms and various rating and uh, we ask them you know probably uh, write the appraisal uh, that means complete the performance form and know the performance you know person's record thoroughly and prepare the employee in advance and we can actually have the interview and based on that we'll come to know that what is the opinion from the employee side as well as you know from the rating point of view and the next one is actually you know it's all about future goals and objectives so at the end of the interview the employer should allow time to you know create a development plan as to what is the future plan of the employee how an employee you know planning to you know set the goal targets and what is the benchmark and employee will attempt to achieve and what is the way actually employee has to you know go in for the next steps and ultimately you know both has to agree on uh, employees progress towards what what is the you know result uh, expected out of it and what is the measurement next year what is the kind of an objective they need to you know reach all this thing will be clearly specified and the next one you know if you look into it we need to do a follow up follow up is nothing but simply you know kind of an regular kind of formal follow review once in a year and uh, if the employee review employees you know if employee uh, employers review employees and provide a feedback as part of everyday management so that you know the employers and employee will learn much more about the strength weakness and all other kind of things so that's the way actually we need to do a follow up and ultimately you know the performance evaluation report has to be developed and uh, you know, the performance evaluation report is all about class specification or informal kind of jobs uh, description job standards procedures regulations establishing a goals and all the things you know we need to work out and knowledge and ability to perform a particular job and uh, how is the job relationship all these things you know we need to clearly specify by the you know co-workers and then supervisors and uh, you know your country employees and the public all the people now the last step is about rewarding performance rewarding performance you know pretty well it's nothing but uh, whatever outcome of it we try to you know categorize into certain kind of you know a b c d or whatever kind of you know categories and based on that you know we can work out some kind of a band and then uh, accordingly you know the entire performance can be you know uh, what you call it as appraised so these are the ways we can reward the performance so with this you know we completed the topic on uh, uh, performance appraisal procedures